Hi, I'm Ralph Rubon, Professor of Pathology and Oncology and Director of the Saul Goldman Pancreatic Cancer Research Center at Johns Hopkins. Although we tend to think of pancreatic cancer as one disease, in fact, as many as 20 different tumors can arise in the pancreas. These different tumors have different appearance under the microscope. Uh, some are treated differently, and some have different prognosis, which means likely outcome. In order to understand the complexity of these many different tumors, there's some key terms that you first have to understand. So let's go through this terminology. First is the distinction between benign and malignant. Benign tumors tend to be slow-growing tumors that are localized. They don't invade into the adjacent tissues. As a result, many benign tumors don't even need to be treated. And those that do, when they're removed, the patients are cured. Malignant tumors, on the other hand, tend to be fast-growing tumors that infiltrate into the surrounding tissues. And some even metastasize or spread to other organs. As a result, malignant tumors can recur after they've been treated, and unfortunately, some can cause a patient's death. Cancers are considered malignant tumors. The second distinction that's important is between primary and metastatic cancer. Primary cancers are cancers that start in a particular organ. So, for example, a primary pancreatic cancer is a cancer that has started or arose in the pancreas. Metastatic cancer, on the other hand, is cancer that has spread from the organ in which it arose to another organ. So, for example, cancer of the pancreas arises in the pancreas where it is primary, but it may spread or metastasize to the liver where it's now considered a metastatic cancer. The third distinction, and I promise you I won't have any more distinctions to go through after this, uh, is between exocrine and endocrine tumors of the pancreas. This distinction shouldn't surprise you because if you think back to the normal uh, section of this iPad app, remember the normal pancreas has both an exocrine and an endocrine component. Exocrine tumors of the pancreas, as the name suggests, when viewed under the microscope, look somewhat like normal exocrine cells of the pancreas. By contrast, endocrine tumors of the pancreas, when viewed under the microscope, look somewhat like the normal endocrine cells of the pancreas. These uh, are important distinctions to make because the behavior of exocrine and endocrine tumors of the pancreas and their best treatment is very different. That's a quick overview of the terminology we use to describe the many different tumor types that can arise in the pancreas. I hope you found it educational.